Okay. Hmm. Well, good evening, boys and germs. Today we're gonna be starting a new gameplay with the game that I mentioned last gameplay, Until Dawn. So... Yes, I already said yes. Jesus. Anyway, I had to do a new game because something happened. Like, really weird. It wouldn't let me move. Like, a bug, kind of. But the game is fine. Might be my controller. But like I mentioned in the last video, uh, this game, it goes as to what direction, as to what decision you make. So if you make a decision, it impacts, yeah, see, like that, it goes one way. And then, see, you pick your path. So anything could happen. So the way you play it is going to be way different from how I play it. So don't really view this gameplay as something to expect when you play it, but still really cool. I wish I had friends so I could ask if they've played it, if, um, like, what they've made out of this game. And this is, like, a story kind of game, so I'm gonna try not to talk too much, but I guess I'll just talk in, in the little pauses. Hmm. And I've played this game a little bit, like I've played a few parts here and there, but I haven't sat through my own full gameplay. So this is gonna be all my decisions. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because he's class president doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend. Josh. All right, now it's me moving. Okay. Oh. Yeah, ours our eyes to look around. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. I know I saw something there. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Huh. Crap. Uh, uh. Guys! <laughs> there's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Oh, so, God. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! Is there the footprints? Wouldn't the footprints be where she is? I I'd hope so. <laughs> Unless it's a bear. Oh dang. Yeah, I probably should have looked at them. Just a prank, bro. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. There we are. Hello? Hello? Uh oh. So that's a death totem, meaning it kind of, well, huh? we'll look at it in the settings, if I can figure out where that is. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hmm. 
Well then. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Reminds me of the children of the corn. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty Creepy. is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? It's just creepy. I wouldn't be there. Sure, I guess a scarecrow. Well, I see. I could see. come alive and attack me. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Nope. Definitely not. Oh no? Why not? I'd be scared. The scarecrow would eat me. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? The corn field. I feel like one day I go in to make, to get some corn and I'd get lost. That's intriguing. But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but these uh, this game goes by episode, so I'm thinking of just doing that, and hopefully the episodes aren't too long. I think the episode is done, so, yeah. I think that's a good place to stop, so we're gonna leave it at that. Thank you all humans for watching. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>